Well, welcome you two friends and family to today's edition of the Wellness Homesteader. You may think, wow, I thought this was collaboration number three with Charity over at Gypsy Wife Life, but the grand finale is coming. It will be next week, so you do not want to miss it because we are going to talk about our favorite fall things. And I just noticed my camera was crooked, so let me fix that. Pardon the hand. So I wanted to get back a little bit on our prepping series and just talk a little bit about different ways that you can have some long-term storage of items that could be in short supply. So winter here in Ohio can be a challenge. And I live along what's called the I-70 corridor. It kind of cuts the state in half. And for many miles either side of that I-70 corridor, we are blessed with ice storms. So I'm super excited because I'm actually waiting on the generator guy to come give me an estimate. So we'll see. It may be out of my price range, but I want to see what my options are because I deal with long power outages. So sometimes if you live in a very small town or village, ours is actually considered a village, um, you're kind of the last on the power company's list to get it restored because less people are affected by the outage. So that is why I'm looking into a generator. And I want a whole house generator, and they now have them, if you didn't know this, because I did not. You can hook them into your natural gas, or if you have a propane tank, you can do that as well. So uh, even though I like to do some things kind of the old fashioned way, this girl likes her heat, her air conditioning, and I must have my internet and my Wi-Fi. So let's get into what we're doing today. So if 2020 taught us one thing, it's that shortages happen. And they kind of happen when you least expect it, and they can also be odd things. So drop me a comment below. What was the one thing that you fell short of that you stopped differently now? And I'm gonna fully tell you, I have a thing about running out of toilet paper. And I was quite panicked with the toilet paper shortages. And we have a very close-knit community of neighbors here. So when anybody would find like, you know, the mega pack, we would divide it up among the neighbors. So I never ran out of uh, TP, although there is options if you should. But that is one thing I actually stock differently because I'm well aware as we're starting to see COVID variants, and I'm not here to talk about COVID or vaccines or anything else. I'm just strictly talking about preparation. I'm not a doomsday prepper. I am not a panic prepper. I prep what I will be using. So I used almost everything that I had prepped for uh, 2020 when the pandemic hit, and I prepped it long before I ever thought the pandemic would hit or knew it was going to hit. So I generally will start in the fall and get a nice, robust, long-term pantry built up before winter hits, before all that ice hits, before I lose my power. And uh, I wanted to share with you just a little bit how I store my long-term dry goods. So first off, let me show you how I've done it up to now because I'm gonna try something different. And this is heavy, guys. Okay. So I was using Mylar bags. So I often will buy, when I can find them, the 25 pound bags. This is organic rye flour and it came uh, Great River Flowers Organics. And we had a huge rye shortage, so when I saw it, I grabbed it. I'm actually down to 15 pounds of rye. I love rye bread, but I use rye to make my sourdough and to feed my sourdough. So. I needed a lot of rye. I'm going to have to order some more, but I used the Mylar bags. So what I did was I always freeze um, my flour or my meal for about 48 hours uh, just to kill off any organisms that could be in the flour. Then I put it into the Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber. And these, some are Ziploc, but this was iron shut. And let me tell you guys, this was a challenge. If you got one speck of flour in between the two mylar layers, it would not seal. So I have decided this year, thankfully I did use up all my mylar bags last year. I'm not gonna go that route. 
I am going to go with food grade buckets. <laughs> so, there's a lot of options, and excuse me, I've got to stand up to get it unhooked here. You do want to use a food grade bucket, and there are a lot of options. Home Depot has them. Um, you can get them on Amazon. There are a lot of companies that sell a food grade bucket. And you have two options for the lid. You can get simply a regular lid, or you can get what's called a gamma lid. A gamma lid seals, and it's something that will keep things fresh for 30 years. Here's the thing, guys. I'm not gonna keep my dry goods 30 years. I buy in large quantities, so I have plenty on hand to hold me for a very long period of time, but I'm actually going to be using this. Pardon me, so there's no point for me to put a gamma lid on this because I'm gonna be in and out, in and out, in and out almost constantly. So I am going to get busy here. Over here to the right, you can't really see, I have my first prepping item that I wanna get bucketed and that is the old-fashioned oats. Now, I want to say a word about organics. Guys, I wish I could afford to buy everything organic, but I can't. That's the reality of it. The food that I grow is grown organically. If I'm going to be eating a fruit or a vegetable where you eat the skin, where pesticides would absorb through, I try to buy organic, but I simply cannot always afford to buy organic grains. Many times they're double the cost of non-organic. So you have to make your choices according to your budget. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start filling up buckets. And even though these are pretty large, I decided it was much better to have one bucket than to be dealing with the roly-poly <laughs> canisters of oats that I had on hand. And just another quick thing, if you don't feel like going to the store and schlepping all that home, Walmart, you can buy the Great Value brand online. When I purchased, it was free shipping 35 and over. So that's what I did. I loaded up on my oatmeal. Oatmeal is a great thing if you will eat it to have in your pantry, in your long-term pantry. It's extremely nutritious. It's high in protein. It's a great addition to batters and breads. I must always put oats in my bread. Generally, if you're making an average size loaf of bread, like a four cup flour loaf of bread, you can substitute one cup of flour for oats. So you're getting that protein, you're getting that heart healthy benefit. And if you're eating oats, just eating oats, and that can be good too, but I can only eat those when I'm in the mood. They're so thick. Um, it's five grams of protein. So you're getting some plant-based protein, which saves on your meat cost if you want to get meat-based protein. So I'm gonna swing you around here. I'm gonna start loading up. I really don't know how many pounds of each thing that these buckets are gonna hold. I bought a quantity of six. I will drop the link in the description box below to my Amazon affiliate store, because yes, I did purchase these on Amazon. I do not have a Home Depot anywhere close to me. So let's get started on our long-term grain storage. One of the things I do like is they've changed how the Great Value brand oats are sealed. Well, maybe I don't like it. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. It's actually pretty easy to remove. So I will drop all of these containers into my recycle bin. So I put one small container and I have four large and that is going to about fill it up. So let's see. So three, six, nine, twelve. About 14 pounds, I'll be able to get into this bucket, no problem. Yeah, this is kind of a weird open spout. It only opens halfway with the pull string. So one of the dilemmas that I've thought about, and I think is a consideration is, as your oats go down, you don't want to dump the new on top of the old. So having either additional buckets 
like an old and a new so you can keep rotating or being able to put what's remaining in your bucket into another container putting your new oats in and then putting your old on top i think that's probably what i'll do because i have enough buckets now <laughs> girl can only have so many buckets all right yeah so easily 14 pounds i think uh five of the big containers would fit no problem and then let's see how these lids go i i did get my rubber mallet just to make it a little easier on me you know, and that might be like a little bit overkill why is that not going on Okay, guys, let me let me work on this. I think you have to pull the strip off. Hang on. So the lids of the bucket have a strip. Um, pretty easy to pull. I just held it between my knees and rotated it and pulled. And then that lid snapped on nice and tight. And it does have, I'm impressed, has a rubber gasket here. So this is very tightly sealed. And I will label this. Let's see, do I want it on the front of the bucket or the top? Or maybe both, I'm not sure how I'm gonna store it. So I'm gonna label, keep working, I'm gonna speed myself up, and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you just a little bit about some products that I still have on hand from our live sale. So stay tuned. Well, I have to say I am very pleased with the buckets, how they sealed, easy to label, freed up some room in my, okay guys, a quick peek, long-term pantry, which is a little bit overloaded, just saying, but highly recommend the buckets. And again, I'll drop the link in the description box. Well, to close today's video, I wanna review with you some of the amazing products that Jasper and I still have for sale. Um, guys, you don't want to miss out on this. And I will tell you, Jasper's eyeshadow palette is almost sold out. And I am wearing it today. It is incredible. You don't have to be a heavy makeup wearer to really enjoy these colors. And watch me have trouble opening it. But they are just gorgeous. So here is her palette. It's called Howl at the Moon. Magnetic. It has a lovely mirror. And then all of these beautiful nine colors. And the cost of this is 34, so less than four per color. So an incredible buy. Um, I will tell you, I have subscribed off and on to BoxyCharm. And right now I'm off because I have plenty of makeup. But they include a description card. And guys, some of the eyeshadows, oh my word. They're just so over the moon and they don't need to cost this much. And I can tell you, I've been using this every single day. I absolutely love it. A little goes a long way. It doesn't irritate your eyes. I love this. Also in Jasper's line, she has two colors of her moon, I'm sorry, Fang Drip Gloss. She does all the Nordic names and I can't say half of them. So um, this one is called Harvest Moon. And if you can see, it's a beautiful copper color and I've tried it and I like it because I was like, mm, yeah, thanks for the copper lip gloss. It's beautiful. It's very neutral once you get it on. My absolute favorite is the pink and this is almost completely gone. So when it's gone, it's gone guys for all of that. Over on my side, guys, nobody, nobody bought my new skincare line. And I have to tell you, you're missing out. Where can you buy a complete skincare line that is natural, that is handmade, that is excellent for $29? You can't buy a four ounce jar of moisturizer many times for that price. So the face wash is made with all kinds of organic oils. It also has lavender and German chamomile, very soothing. You just need to shake it. I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long, long way. A teaspoon is great plenty, and it's good at taking your makeup off. Along with is the four ounce toner. This is also lavender, German chamomile, 
and witch hazel and organic lavender buds are infused into this mixture, then is strained and bottled. And then finally, my lavender and chamomile moisturizer. And guys, this stuff feels so good. It does have goat's milk. So it is, this one is not vegan, the rest are vegan, but look how beautiful this is. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's wonderful. And I attribute my skin clearness and suppleness, if you will, to using these types of products. So 29 for the set. If you want just a certain item out of there, let me know. Um, drop me a comment in the just in the comment box below. I always want to call it a description box and I will let you know how much they are individually. I do have some soaps left as well. So I have the unisex cedar and amber and this is a vegan soap. I have the apple pie a la mode which is a goat's milk non-vegan soap with a caramel butterscotch swirl. This stuff smells amazing. The one I'm so proud of, my Anato Bergamot Soap. So this is all natural colorants, all natural ingredients. Um, it's got Anato seed, and it also has um, poppy seeds for exfoliation. It is a vegan soap. Uh, it has rosemary and bergamot. So it's a very, very fresh, almost floral smell. My top seller I always have in stock, Goat's Milk Oats and Honey, which has a vanilla -y, clean, fresh scent. Guys even like this. It is not too perfumey or too flowery for men. And I totally forgot on the live to share this. I still have some of my blackberry and sugared violet soap. And this is also a vegan soap. And this I made late summer. I guess it's still summer. But uh, I had a few bars left and I forgot about that. So if you would like a bar of soap, I'm going to cut down my prices a little bit and we're going to do three for 15. So normally they're uh, $6 each. The Anato was seven because it has so many ingredients. And as a bonus, you will get a free cotton exfoliating face cloth that is completely washable and reusable. I also still have the uh, Dad's Coffee Soap for taking odors off your hands, cooking odors in the kitchen. This stuff is wonderful. And I'm down to two flowers of the Charcoal Facial Soap. So each of these, I'm gonna sell at four. And then finally, the last item, I still have loads of these cotton bath poops. These are 100% cotton. They do not scratch your skin or irritate your skin or grow germs like the mesh ones that you're custom probably to using, you can actually wring these out. They're fully washable and dryable. So drop me a comment below if you're interested. Email me at sweethoneybath at gmail.com. Just email me your order. I will have your email address. I will send you a PayPal invoice. As soon as I receive payment, it will go out priority mail the next day. So thank you. Well, thank you all for watching. And again, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. For my current subscribers, thank you for staying with me. And don't forget, guys, the grand finale next week. My fall favorite things with Charity from over at Gypsy Wife Life. As always, be healthy, be well, be blessed. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care.